All right, so I'm finally here in the European Alps once more and this is the fabled Stelvio Pass which was once declared as the most beautiful driving road in the world and I feel like I have been out of a cage, you know, uh, because in the last two years the whole world has changed. We were so dependent on looking at screens and, uh, you know, wondering when actual travel will revive and when we will be able to travel, feel the wind in our hair and, uh, you know, I have been primarily a motorcyclist all my life but sometimes cars like these, which is the BMW M4 competition, the BMW M4 is a cabriolet, which means that it's got a retractable rooftop. And the thing is that the rooftop is so amazing, it actually can open and close in just 18 seconds. And you can also do it while it's moving, although at lower speeds. Now the parallel here is that LG has come up with the OLED R, the world's first rollable OLED television. Yes, you heard that right. The television actually rolls into the sound system. Isn't that amazing? But if you've been following me on social media, you will also know that I'm a technophile and I've been creating a place called the Moto Villa. The Moto Villa is basically an amalgamation of many things. It's uh, basically a place where a gadget freak would freak out. A petrol head would also feel at home because we've got the best motorcycles parked right inside. Now here, I want to take this opportunity to basically tell you that how important televisions have been in building of the motor villa so now we have three main televisions one is uh, we start from the ground floor in the motor cave where all the bikes are parked it's a 55 inches oled from lg and on the first floor where we have the arcade room we have the nano cell 75 inches again from lg and on the second floor the top floor we have the 65 OLED, which is a gallery design, again from LG. So all these televisions, they have a specific purpose and you know, they, they just uh, enable us to showcase content, to watch what we have actually built and of course, to entertain ourselves as well. Now talking about entertainment, the OLED technology here, which is there in the LG televisions, this is the first time actually I have experienced OLED. It is all together on a different planet. Beautiful for gaming, you know. Of course, I only play racing games, you know, because I don't have much time. So I get into a car, I choose a place to drive, and I just drive. Well, I got a little busy in playing a video game over this. And the uh, thing is that the gaming over here is so immersive that I can't help it. And could you believe that this is actually connected to my laptop here? And uh, amongst a lot of reasons why gaming is so good on this television is because, of course, number one, it's the infinite contrast because of the OLED uh, technology. And when I first saw it, my mind was blown. It's like, I mean, we are talking about foldable phones, we're talking about foldable tablets, but this was altogether on a different level. So in 2019, I was driving the BMW M4 in Dubai, 445 horsepower of madness, the intoxicating acceleration, the sound and everything. But when BMW announced the BMW M4 competition, it was lighter, it was faster. And of course, the Cabriolet version is perfect for such kind of a surrounding. And this one is 502 horsepower. And of course, with updated electronics and whatnot. And you can also hear probably the sounds of this, this place, the Stelvio Pass. So there are a lot of supercars and super bikes. So talking about sound, which is a very important factor, not only for a driving experience like this, and of course, this car sounds absolutely fantastic, but also uh, for an immersive experience back home and back in the Moto Villa with all the televisions, especially if you talk about sound in the LG OLED R. It is absolutely stupendous. Why? Why? Now I'm actually with the LG OLED R over here and I just heard how it sounds and it's absolutely, like I said, very immersive, stupendous. Thanks to a lot of technology which actually goes into it, which they've actually nailed it. It's got Dolby Atmos, it's got Dolby Vision. 
So all this technology basically roll into one, pun intended, is just insanity. And you know, the cars have also come a long way, televisions have also come a long way. I'm just waiting to see what's next for all of this. What's next for, you know, mobility? What's next for televisions? Now the self-lighting OLED display actually demands another special mention because that is what it actually gives the whole viewing experience this depth this this immersion this reality you know if i were to view this particular video on the television the oled r now actually you are viewing this video on the lg signature oled r and isn't that wonderful true to life now this is not only because of the 4k over there it's also because of the self lighting pixels the infinite contrast ratio, the accurate color reproduction and of course the perfect blacks and that is what makes for an immersive experience. 500 horsepower is a lot of power but of course there is a saying that BHP is never enough but to make it more usable like we have seen in so many cars and other motorcycles this BMW car also has modes and it actually changes the character of the car but we also have modes in televisions but usually those modes you would expect that brightness or such kind of things would change but in this there are modes which can actually change the physical state of the television that you see over here now let me show you so this is the full view here but if you press a small button on the remote it says going to the zero view now look at this it's going to retract snugly into the sound system and in this view, what you're gonna get is just the access to the speaker system. Now there is one more mode in this, which is somewhere between the zero view and the full view. It's called the line view. What it does is it just retracts a little bit, just showing its head. Now another thing which smart devices are doing is that basically they are offering a smart assistance. Now in this case, you just say hi BMW or hello BMW and it's you know when you're driving and it responds and you can dial numbers, you can set destinations. Similarly, similarly, hi LG. What is the weather in Delhi today? Here's the weather for Delhi. So the LG OLED R here is also equipped with stuff like WebOS and ThinQ AI and natural hands-free operation that recognizes your commands and actually can interact with you. It is amazing how many things are astounding today. Just astounding. It actually feels that I'm just walked into a sci-fi movie. In fact, when I was driving the M4 competition or when I'm watching the LH Signature OLED R, it seems that they are a glimpse into the future. And this is what we do as human beings. We strive into the unknown. We strive for something that we have never attained. And that is what LG has also done with this television. So for me, the LG Signature OLED R is not just a foldable television. It is a very important step in technology. It could actually well usher a new era of devices which could change the way we look at digital content. But right now, let me not drift too much from the point pun not intended and let me actually go back to enjoying the BMW M4 competition in Europe and LG will going to help me. Hi LG, play. <laughs>